Hey what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul the Tech Giant and welcome back to the channel. Where tonight I'm going to be conducting a screen uniformity and dead pixel test on this 65 inch LG G4 OLED. Now this TV is my new daily driver and because of that I'm going to own it for approximately 12 months and I aim to do tests on this TV when it comes to the screen uniformity and dead pixels around once every month. Now the reason for this is over time we can get issues with the panel with dead pixels and banding and things like that and today's video is basically going to be the baseline so we're going to see if we do have any dead or stuck pixels fingers crossed we don't and then if any do appear then we will know approximately at what sort of time period they arose. So what I'm going to first start off doing is a 5% grayscale where we'll look for any vertical banding and patchiness and then we'll move on to a colour sweep to see what the general colour is like on this TV, see if there, again there's any patchiness and then we'll move on and look for any dead or stuck pixels. Okie dokie, let's crack on then and first starting off with the 5% grayscale. Now I have had the TV for a good few days now, put plenty of hours on it already, absolutely loving it so far. So the TV has had a fair bit of time to bed in. And I've got to say it to start with, I did notice quite a bit of banding on panning shots, but it does seem to have improved somewhat since I've been running it a little bit longer. Now I am noticing that we do have a bit of a streak going on there. And we do also have this sort of dark patch on the bottom left hand corner. Now these, I always say, are emphasised on camera, but I will admit that I can see that vaguely with the naked eye and also that patch there. So whilst it's uh, not ideal, I've got to say it, that isn't too bad at all. I've seen far, far worse than this. And to be honest, if I had the choice, would I send it back and risk getting another one that could be worse? No, for me personally, I think this is a keeper basing on this 5% grayscale. Fingers crossed we don't find any dead or stuck pixels. On to some colours now then, and we're going to look for those dead or stuck pixels, see if we can see any patchiness on the different colours. So first off, I've gone for a nice bright white, looks a little bit more sort of greyish on camera, but in person it's lovely and crispy white. Now again, I've got to say, I am starting to see that little bit of banding going on there as well on this white piece of footage. So again, not perfect, but not terrible either. So let's go in a little bit closer then. And ooh, grit me teeth, I always dread this bit. First time looking around. So starting off the top left hand corner, panning across. Again, sometimes it's hard to see on camera, but I am looking with my naked eye and not through the camera itself. But if I do notice anything, I will zoom in and show you guys coming down the uh, right hand side now so far so good i am dreading this because it has happened in the past brand new ones have uh, come out of the box and our pixels have been stuck or dead which isn't what you want going up the top left hand side and then to the middle and panning out and that Looks all good to me. Blue's up next, so let's just pan around. And that's looking really nice there. Can't see any of that banding on the blue. So let's go in closer. And uh, if you're new to these type of tests, starting off the top left hand corner once again. So yeah, if you are new to these tests, reason why I do different colors is because if the pixel's stuck, it may show up on one color more than another. So I'll go through the various colors. And what I will be also doing as we uh, progress with these tests is also test for any burning. Now I know the uh, risk of it these days is pretty low, but still it does happen. And uh, I will be testing for that. Obviously, there's no point in me doing that at the moment. The TV hasn't had enough hours on it yet. But yeah, I will uh, also be testing for that. 
in future videos. Going into the middle, couldn't see anything there. Panning back out, and that is a pass on the blow. Green's up next, and this looks absolutely stunning. Love OLED TVs. Got to say, generally, you don't really get patchiness or anything like that when it comes to these sort of tests where your traditional TVs, you know, that can be an issue. But that looks perfectly fine to me. So let's go in for those dead or stuck pixels. Fingers crossed, not. So starting top left again, going across. Now, whilst I'm uh, panning around the TV, love to uh, hear your thoughts on videos that you'd like to see me do with this TV. Now, I'm going to be doing the obvious stuff, gaming with the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. I've already uh, tested it against the Samsung S95D OLED. But what else would you like to see me do? Let me know in the comments, you know, I'm up for anything. So yeah, please suggest a way and I'll do my best to uh, do the video if there's enough call for it. Again, backing out there on the green, all looks good to me with my naked eye. Again, this just backs up of what I'm seeing and that is all good. Finishing off on red now then, and on camera, looks a bit washed out, sort of a bit pinky, but in person, it's a lovely deep cherry red. So panning around again, all looks good to me. So let's go in a little bit closer for the final look around. And like I was just saying, I do this to sort of cover my back as well. So if anything pops up, People can't say that oh, it could have been there for longer and all that, and I've just been hiding it. This proves exactly what the TV is like. It's not exactly straight out of the box, but within a few days, and like I said, I've put a good few hours on it already. I uh, like to really push these TVs when it comes to the amount of hours I put on them. It's only fair with the sort of uh, testing I do that I don't just put it on for half an hour and say, oh yeah, I love this TV. And I think it's also good as well because if this TV does perform well, then it may give you guys encouragement to go out there and purchase one for yourselves if it's a TV that you are considering purchasing. And on that note, that is a pass for the red. And there you have it in, guys. That is the testing complete. And what are my final thoughts? Well, to be fair, I'm pretty happy with that. I've uh, had it far worse before in the past when it comes to OLED TVs. Right, okay, I've got that line going on, bit of a, a patch down there. But no, I wouldn't swap it in for another. And yeah, overall, I'm happy. Now, if you are interested in following the long-term testing of this 65-inch G4 OLED, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you have enjoyed today's video, then please consider giving me a thumbs up. So, thanks very much for joining me today, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.